Hi, this is Tung. This is Cloud Formation Templates and JQ Tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use JQ to uh, inspect what resources are in Cloud Formation Template. I find this to be very helpful when I'm trying to understand Cloud Formation Template. All right, so this video is based on this blog post entitled Cloud Formation Templates and JQ Tips. All right, and in this video, we're going to download a template from here. It's right here. It's an auto scaling template. I choose I chose this one because it's a pretty standard template, pretty typical. So let's go and then go W get the template first. Okay, so we got the template. I'm gonna rename it because that's kind of long. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go through this blog post literally and then see what I did. All right, cat auto scaling. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just use uh, we're gonna cat into JQ so you can see how JQ helps you uh, see a colorized version of the JSON template, which uh, it's more useful because it's, it's not black and white. But you can get it can get a lot more useful. So um, you can use the JQ keys command here to summarize all the top level sections. And I covered this in other video parameters and resources is really important. Uh, resources in particular is what we're going to focus on in this video. Um, before we do that, let's actually look at this command. This shows the leaf path of the template structure. Somebody else showed me through this a while ago, and it's a pretty cool. What you could do is you could run that command, and what it does is um, it th it throws into the JQ, and then it runs it through the leaf path command. Then uses said to kind of get rid of the um, the different integer numbers, the indexes, and then it just normalizes all the indexes and then it sorts it so that you can kind of at a high level start to get a feel of how this template kind of works right here. If you scroll down, it's still a little bit verbose, still a little bit of a lot of information. So I like to summarize even more. Okay, so the next step is let's go ahead and cat it into a dot jq and then dot resources. Now when you do this, okay, it didn't really do much. All I did was uh, break it down so we jumped into resources. But if you look at resources here, this is the thing that's a little tricky. See, each key, uh, they call this the logical ID, and the logic ID varies. So the structure varies, so that makes it a little more difficult to traverse. But fortunately, there's this two entries method from JQ. So, so somebody else has thought of this, right? Uh, okay, so if you go to two entries, look what, look what it does to the structure. It changes the structure before this logical identifier right here was actually the key. But now uh, the two entries normalize the structure. So there's always going to be a key here that we know, and there's always going to be a value. So now we can use that to traverse the structure. So let's go ahead and traverse the structure now. So I'm going to actually do a piecemeal here so you guys see what's going on. So if you go this, to this and just go to entries, uh, what happens is now we're just, well, I guess you already see the two entries. Okay, so here you can go, we can look at right here. So dot, uh, like this, dot value, then dot, do, 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 a type. Okay, here we go, type. So now, look, look what I did. We got to the types. So these are the cloud formation resources that belong to this template. So then what I like to do after this is I like to go sort it, then unique count, then sort it again. Then now we know how many resources there are in this template. Uh, so we know there are two CloudWatch alarms. We know there are two auto scaling policies. We know they're one of each of these. There's auto scaling group, there's a launch config, there's a security group, there's a listener, there's a load balancer, there's a target group. So I like to do this uh, when I'm looking at a template and trying to understand it and just trying to see what resources the template has. Just nice to summarize everything. And JQ really helps you do this once you kind of figure out this two entries method here. But yep, yeah, that's it. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you found videos like this helpful, be sure to like it and share it with our friends. Um, if uh, you have any questions or any video suggestions, just comment below here. And uh, if you need DevOps help, check out Bolt Ops. And uh, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.